All right, hello, this is Rex from Tube Daybreak Workshop, and we are back again with another video. And play ball, it's about that season again where people are playing baseball, and the weather's getting nice, and uh, people are out in training. And I figured let's time, this is the good time of the year to uh, tackle the subject, subject of baseball. So I went ahead and I dove into several websites using uh, vidIQ, Answer the Public, and uh, Data uh, Question date Debate, and I found a whole bunch of great topics on baseball. And let's go ahead and let's dive right into it. Um, I got my screen bigger over here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see my screen better. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go. We're going to tell Vita uh, SQL Server that we're going to use the Tube Data Workshop database over here. Then let's get into it. Let's tackle the answer to the public database first, and let's see what we find using the keyword training baseball and college baseball right there. And we're just going to get these fields over here, modifier type, modifier, suggestion, and keyword. And we're going to order by the suggestion over there. And we're going to get it from our answer to public data table. So I've already written these sequels out um, before I did the broadcast. If you actually want me to, to write them during the broadcast, it's going to make the uh, broadcast a little bit longer or the video a little bit longer. If you want me to see him write these from scratch, then let me know in the comments and I'll make one where you actually see me write them from scratch, but it will make a longer video. Okay, let's go ahead and run this. And right off the bat, I'm going to get 234 rows. Let me get my mouse working. I'll make, move this up a little bit right there. Okay, so these are all the questions uh, from the answer to the public database, all related to baseball training and college baseball. These are in no particular order. Actually, they're just sorted by the keyword. So these are our here, college baseball players getting paid, our training contracts paid. You can baseball please be used for soccer. Uh, then we come to the how. Uh, how baseball works, how college baseball playoffs work, how to play college baseball. There you go. Uh, let me move this over so we can see this how training benefits the organization, uh, how training is important for development. So we're getting some good ones here. Uh, what college baseball teams are undefeated? So right off the bat, we're getting 234 ideas related to uh, training baseball, college baseball from the Answer the Public website. So without any further delay, let's go into the vidIQ. And we're going to pull data from all these fields including the related score search volume competition the overall number of words uh keyword search which these are all counts which i added keyword search modifier type and modifier modifier type and modifier are being modified by a um stored procedure which we wrote in a previous video and we're getting everything using the keyword search baseball training and outdoors so uh, we put all the we loaded all the data, we put everything together, and now we're going to run it. And these are by order of the keywords. These are the keywords over here. So these are just sorted in keywords. You see all the numbers over here on the right. So here, competition overall number of words, keyword search, and, and we're only getting the questions right over there. So some of them are in Spanish. Uh, here we go how baseball bats are made, how baseball is played, how it's involved, how it's evolved. Here we go. How baseball season works, uh, how baseball was invented. So people are interested in even in not just the rules of baseball, but also the history of baseball, uh, how to play baseball, how fast can a person throw a baseball, how hard is it to be a baseball player? So uh, I'm getting 301 rows right there. So not counting the rules that we're getting from uh, Answer the Public. Those were a little over 200. I'm getting a little over 300 right over here. How to catch a high ball in baseball. How <laughs> to cheat. How to clean a baseball cap. Lots of questions all related to baseball. Now, um, another way to write this, of course, um, we're using this structure over here where uh, keyword searched in, let me highlight this, 
baseball training and outdoors. And I put these in parentheses. So same sequel. I'm just writing it in a different way. I'm getting the same 301 rows, as you can tell, right there over there. Same sequel. Now, we want to get the sum of the numbers. We we're using VidIQ, so we're getting, we're getting the, uh, the data here, related score, search volume, competition, and overall. So how can we use that? Well, we're going to group everything by the keyword. So we want to eliminate all the duplicates. But when you group on numbers, basically the only way you can do that, you have to aggregate the numbers by getting the sum. So you have to get the sums of these right over there. So we're getting over here, we're getting the sums of related score, search volume, competition, and overall. So uh, we're going to do all that. We're going to get a sum of everything for all the questions related to baseball training and outdoors. And we're going to group by the keyword and we're going to sort everything by search volume in descending order so we're going to go from the highest to the lowest so when i do that now we're going to get uh the items which are which have the highest search volume which is over here how to run faster uh how to build how to play baseball so these are the ones which have get the most searches from according to vidiq which are all in the category whereas questions um from the baseball training and outdoors keywords. So let me go ahead and make these a little wider. Um, how modern baseball, how to throw a baseball. So these are the ones with the highest search volume. These, these are the keywords or the phrases which are searched or entered the most. How to understand baseball, how lineups work, how to spawn a baseball bat, uh, how to style the jerseys, how baseball works. So a whole bunch of them over here. How baseball bats are made, how to pitch baseball. Very good. Basically, these are all questions about the basics. How to be recruited to play college baseball. Uh, how to hand wash baseball caps. How to swing a baseball for beginners. And I saw some in Spanish as well. Uh, there you go. So these are all very interesting. Um, how to get started in fantasy baseball. Uh, how to fix timing in baseball. How to throw a baseball. Etc. Lots of good stuff over here. Now, if we want to get the data from Answer the Public and VidIQ, and we just want to make a list uh, using the keywords training baseball and college baseball from the Answer the Public one. And so this is... Uh, this sequel over here, and we want to merge this with the one from uh, FedIQ, which is this sequel over here. Join them together. We're going to join them using union, and we say union all. We want to get all of them, but then once we get them all together, we we don't want duplicates, so we're going to use the this word over here, distinct. We're going to put them all together, and we're going to sort by the suggestion. Let's run it, see what we get. Right off the bat, we're getting 514 rows. Um, and here they are. So we're not getting any duplicates, no duplicates at all. And they're all sorted alphabetically. Basically, we're just building a long list, pulling from two different sources, and then we're going to sort them all, and then we're going to make sure we eliminate all the duplicates. We're getting a bunch of them in Spanish, and these are the ones in English. They're all starting with how, how, how to, uh, here we go, uh, how to, how to bat better in baseball, how to be a baseball fan, how to be a baseball writer, how to be a better baseball player. And here we go. We got 516 rows. So these are all great video topics. If you got a baseball channel on YouTube or you got a baseball blog, or you got a baseball vlog, or you got a baseball podcast, and you need some ideas, then I got a whole list of over 500 different questions which you can answer in your blog, or your channel, or your podcast, and these are all related to baseball. Uh, a long list right off the bat. So I did all the work for you, I put it all together, uh, but we're not done. I got another bonus. We have there's another table called Question DB, and we just looked at the category baseball, 
and I got 48 more. So you're saying, well, can we add the 48 to the 500 we already had previously and eliminate all the duplicates? And the answer to that is yes, we can. Let me make this a little bit bigger for those of you who want to see the sequel. So from here to here, here's the sequel from Answer the Public. And from here to here, here's a sequel from Question DB. I put it in the middle. And from here to about here, here's a sequel from VidIQ. So we're only pulling the uh, the keyword. Here it's the keyword field. Here it's the question field. And here it's the suggestion field. We're renaming it all suggestion. And we're pulling it all together using union. And then once you get it all together, we're, we're putting another SQL select statement on top. And then here we're just saying, give us the distinct of what we're renaming as suggestion. So we don't want any duplicates and we're just ordering them by that one field that we're pulling, which is suggestion. So I'm going to run this and we're getting 561 fields. Let me go ahead and make it a little wider so we can see everything. So I'm, I'm just creating a list, pulling numerous searches. We have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are seven different searches coming from three different websites. Uh, seven searches, three websites. We're pulling all the data together, which is easy to do when you're doing it from a database. And we're coming up with 500 and 61 rows. Let me move this up so you can see. This is a very long list of video ideas. All right. So there you go. A uh, lot of information right there. So um, let me know what you think. Um, if you got any value out of this video, please send me a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this. If there's any topic you want me to cover, then please send me an email or post a comment. Then I will happily uh, research it and come up with uh, more video ideas for you. And uh, thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.